What's going on, YouTube? Joe5D here, back with a fucking banger. Listen, man, just stop real quick and let me get four or five minutes of your time, bro. I'm about to go down 27 points in the duo game with my brother, man. And I would really appreciate it if you guys came along and went inside my mind. Now, you've seen Henry do these videos. You've seen Throne do these videos. I'm not them. But guess what? They're also not me. So let's go ahead and get into this video right here, man. Like I said, I'm about to go down 27 points in a duo game. Air Force has it back in the <clears throat> So I'm sharing it from this point simply because look at the bad read circle circle and Johnson on this left hand side are wide open circle open Johnson open but again I'm seeing ghosts I'm not making good reads and look it I, I throw a pick six and judging by the score I've thrown a couple pick sixes but you know what I mean we stayed locked in we kept our mentals and we believe that the game was never over. Now, the reason why I wanted to show from that point is because, yeah, I fuck up and I throw a pick six, but they missed the point after. And I'm not going to spoil the video. I'm not going to spoil the video, but that point after may or may not, may or may not have hurt at them. Right? Maybe it hurt them. Maybe it didn't. Now, let's run it. We are down. We are down big. We are down 20 points. Pardon me. I was saying 27 earlier. Pardon me. I'm not trying to clickbait. We are down three possessions. We are down 20 points with one minute left in the third quarter. I want you to pause right now and leave a like on the video if you think, if you think that we pulled this nut shit off. Listen, man. All I'm going to say is never quit. Never give up, man. Never back down, never give up. Ain't that what um, Nikki 30 says? Might have had triangle. I might have had triangle. But the way the game's been going, I know, nah, I can't, I can't afford any more bad balls. Tucked it, got my yards, got up out of there. Basically, what they're doing on defense is they're crowding everybody at the, at the line of, um, not line of scrimmage, at the first down marker. So one user comes from the left, one user comes from the right, and sometimes they go back to the safety. So basically what I need to do is just make my reads because I got somebody open every play. But if I miss it, it's on me. That was a laser. You know what I mean? That was a beamy. Nice cut. Get open. I'm starting to, okay. I know it's late in the game, but I'm starting to put it together. And we're just going to keep on moving and grooving. We're going to keep on believing. Now, that seemed like a bad throw, but if you've seen beforehand, I hot routed the running back to be on a corner route. I knew I was going to have two guys in that area, and their defense was not going to be able to guard that. Good throw. No matter who catches that, that one that one felt all right. So I'm like, okay, we score right here. The fourth quarter just started. We punch it in right here. We get the ball back, and let's see if we can make something shape. Listen, man, on first and goal... The QB sneak is absolutely elite. Like, I'm hitting this QB sneak. It's going to happen. I'm hitting this QB sneak every time. It's not not going to happen. You're getting hit with the QB sneak. You can stop me three times. I'm still going to run it. I don't really lose yards on the QB sneak, and it always gets me one. So, fourth and inches, third and one. You know, these points in the game, that, yeah, that QB sneak comes in handy. Right here, I'm like, hey, let's kick it off deep or let's go for a squid. And then, right, <laughs> I'm thinking about going for a squid. And this is why I want to make sure that next time I play this, I have, you know, my audio and everything set up the right way. But I call a timeout there because my brother says, bro, go for an onside kick. We had nothing to lose. We're already down. You know what I mean? At this point, two possessions, bro, go for it. So I call timeout as the, as the, as the OC. And we, and we go for the onside. Boom. We get it back. And now we're like, man, like, if we score right here quick, we're only down one possession. You know? So now you sit up in your chair. Everything starts feeling a little bit different. You know what I mean? The moment suddenly a little bit bigger. 
And hey, look at now they got the safety back deep, but they fell asleep. Oh, got the safety back deep, but they fell asleep. That was them knowing that I've been throwing the ball underneath, looking for quick routes. I sat in that pocket, threw that deep bomb over to Devontae Smith, and now suddenly we were just down 20 points. Now we're only down seven of them things. Pardon me, pardon me, six of those things because they missed the point after. So now I'm like, fuck it. Let's go for another onside, right? Boom, we go for it. And I'm thinking, man, if we get this one, it's a wrap. Ball bouncing around, I'm thinking, okay, man, woof. If we, if we get that, sheesh, we caught up quick. You don't get it back. They get the ball. And now it's like, bro, play keep away. You know, waste the time, true the clock. You guys were just up 20 points, and suddenly that lead has evaporated. So if I'm these guys, I'm going to be humble and start, you know what I mean? Like, let's start running the ball. Let's get them for the timeouts. You know what I mean? But, hey, we just cannot stop these guys, man. They were breaking big play after big play after big play on us. Like, it's a high-scoring game because they were scoring in one, two plays, and we were also throwing picks. So we only really just started you know what I mean? Making a good comeback and showing that we're actually somebody out here. Now, remember, I'm playing duos, so I don't pick defensive plays, nor do I get in my brother's ear. He lets me eat on offense, and I let him eat on defense. Of course, we're talking and we're communicating, but we're never telling each other what to do or how to do it. We do give advice, of course, we're humans, but he's the defensive captain, so I'm going to let him work. Now they got shoe clock on. And they're starting to waste that clock. You know, it, it's starting to it's starting to kick in. Now, we're being hyper-aggressive. We go for a timeout here thinking, what if we can stop them right now? The two-minute warning goes off. Yeah, we only have one timeout, but we have two minutes. So we're getting super aggressive. We're going for all sides. We're calling timeouts. You know, we're trying to win this game. Boom. Fourth and inches. Now we're thinking, damn, the time's getting ready to stop again. You know, if we can get this stop on fourth and inches, again, we're never losing hope. We're never losing life. You know, we're always staying locked in, but also remaining humble as well, you know? And right here, we're just playing aggressive. We're blitzing. We're playing man because they're running a lot of like, you know, look at that. They pitching. They moving the ball around. And look it. We get the stop. That's why we were playing aggressive, calling timeouts, because we wanted this fucking ball back. So now I'm like, bet. I'm back on offense. Let's go ahead and make something shake. We got to make something shake right now. And I felt like I had a square, but I didn't plant my feet. I didn't plant my feet, but he doesn't catch the pick. And again, if you can hear me, I'm thanking God for that one. You know, I'm a believer now after that. Because now I feel like they want me to win this game. Him not catching that pick made me feel like, okay, they want me to win this game. So basically after that, you know, I'm like, okay, let me get in my bag. Hit him with a little option. Like, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to keep them on their toes because they feel as if they have my number. And they do. They had us down 20 points. You know what I mean? They were putting the, they were putting belt to ass. I mean, belt was being put to ass. But now I'm here. You know, now I now I grew up. You know, when I was 10, 9, you know, dad might have been able to put the belt to me, but now I'm now I'm 15, you know? <laughs> I'm going to fight back now. Now I'm putting belt to his ass. You know, now him and mama are arguing because I'm beating him up. <laughs> but anyways, we still here, man. A minute and a half to go, and I'm just driving. I'm just, you know, like, I'm taking this clock. I already know if I score and I go for the one, it's game over because they missed their one earlier. So I'm just, you know, making bad read. My teammates open underneath. Trust me, I'm not playing good at all. This is a bad game for me. But I wanted to show this game because I feel like a lot of people quit when they go down 20. You're down 20 in the third quarter. It's game over, right? I'm showing this video to show never to quit. I make a read, and I'm like, okay. Like, if I'm patient, I got reads on these guys. I'm staying in doubles and moving around because I feel like I'm making plays. Now, they're trying to bait me into scoring. So me and my teammate are, are, are talking, and I'm like, nah, I don't know if I want to score quick. And he's like, you know, throw the ball, throw the ball to anybody. 
But I'm like, I don't know if that's the play because they want me to score quick because they've been scoring quick. So I'm trying to, you know, keep the clock, you know. I'm trying to take care of this clock. I'm not trying to be the person that's giving up these big late wins. Right there, triangle. I don't like the animation I get. I don't like that the inside scene made me die. I wanted to rack that, get the first down, and go down. You know, I'm not... I'm trying to win this fucking game. You had me down 20 points. It's no... You know what I mean? There's no... There's no love here. So right here, I'm making some audibles. And boom, quick read. Now right here, we decide to score. We think, you know what? We got him for a timeout. It's less than a minute left. Like, we go ahead and we get in the box. You know, we, we go for it. We score. Now we're talking right now about going for two, going for one. But we decided to go for one because if the game ends right now, we win. Kicking the ball back. And I'm thinking, damn, like, we got to hang our hat on the defense. Like, like our defense needs to hold up right here. This is the time they have two timeouts. Like, let's fucking hold up. You know, we got to hold the door. They only need three. But I'm also thinking, okay, if they do go for three, they might miss it because they missed the point after. And that has to be weighing on their conscience to, to some level. So we kick it off high, we kick it off deep, and they're going to take off with it. And right here, my heart sank a little bit, you know, just because I'm just nervous. I'm just anxious, like, man, like, I really want the defense to hold up because I would really love to bring home this win, man. Like, I want to go to Disney. You know, we were one win away from making the playoffs, so it it, it meant something, you know what I mean? It, it, it has some value to it. And right here, I'm knowing that they might look for that cheese route, but for some reason... I just kept running with the crosser. And they go down. And when they go down and they don't score, I'm thinking, okay. You know, again, like, you you were just winning by 20 points. Now you're losing by one. Like, I would have scored or went down sooner so that I could have got more first downs, took my three, and win the game. But these guys, I feel like, you know, their ego kicked in. Machismo, very, very macho. And they're going to keep calling plays. You know, they're wasting the time right now, but we're not going to call timeout. You know, we're, we're like, hey, man, if we're going to lose right here, we're going to lose right here. Now, right here, we boom them. Okay, and then we boom them, and then I think we're going to, they're going to call timeout. No, pardon me, we call timeout. So we burn our last timeout. Seven seconds left, right? We're thinking they're going to kick three, they're going to go up, and then we're going to get the ball back with a couple seconds. But nah, these guys don't come out for the kick. So by not coming out for the kick, even though it's a couple seconds, you know, they're doing us a favor. And this right here was a great tackle because we pushed him forward. They didn't want to score right there. They wanted to go down again, call timeout, take that three. So right now, they're not really managing the clock well. Now, they want to go for two because they know, God forbid, these guys get in the box again. You know, we don't have that. Bump some. Three seconds left in the game. They've been kicking the ball out the back of the end zone all game. We've had no chance to even recover it. But for some reason, they give us a scum. We recover it. I'm going to creep up, pitch it outside, and look at this. Tutty, man. My boy is to the fucking Baja for the Tutty. The fucking Air Force win by one fucking point, man. We pack those motherfuckers up, bro. Down 20 points. In the third quarter, with a minute left, and you're not taking care of your chickens, bruh. I'm going to run that play back for y'all because I need you to understand the level of orchestration. This is similar to robbing a bank. This is very Ocean's Eleven. This is very the town. Very set it off. You know what I mean? Like, you, don't, you see this little arrow right here? This is my friend, my brother, my compadre, mi amigo. He is rotating wide for a pitch. So I'm going to creep up the center, but I'm not going to be looking to really go score this ball. I'm waiting for him to get to the right spot. I'm going to pitch it back, and then it's pay dirt. We orchestrated this. We set this up. We never, ever gave up. We only needed one second to run this play. So bring it on in. Full cam. If you stay for that 15-minute rumble, Ramble, rant, I appreciate you. If you didn't, I still appreciate you. You know what I mean? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. We the fuck out of here.